Hello everyone. Oh, voice crack. <coughs> Hello everyone. Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 14. Got to do my wave. Wave. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to more Final Fantasy 14. Um, we are going to continue from where we left off uh, and make our way over to the Puglist Guild because the Puglist Guild is where we will continue our quest line. Um, we are level 22 in Puglist and I think Gladiator and Conjurer. So we have all of those class quests to do. Um, and that's pretty exciting, in my opinion. We have the class quests to do. Um, oh, is that the, uh, the gold saucer? Uh, a well-heeled youth on Emerald Avenue appears to have been the beneficiary of some good fortune and may not be averse to sharing it. I think this is. Do do be careful with those. Breaking anything break anything I shall be forced to deduct it from your salary. Beg pardon? What is my loyal manservant carrying? Why, a not so small fortune and prizes, ab ably won by yours truly in the gold saucer. You have heard of the gold saucer? Nay? Ye gads, woman. You might at least try to keep up with the times. It's only the Sultanate's newest and finest place of entertainment. Thrill to the sight of majestic birds roaring down the streets at the Chocobo races. Pitch your wits against your peers at the Triple Triad Tables. At the Gold Saucer, one can do all this and more. If you know what you're about, you'll walk, walk out a wealthier woman than you entered. If there's a better place to shake off one's cares after a grueling day of promenading, I've never heard of it. Did I mention the prizes? Ah, but I dare say you've got to discover them for yourself. Yes, I'll wager you're wondering just how in Thal's good name you can experience the wonders of the gold sauce at first hand. Am I right? Or am I right? Ha! I thought as much. Well, since this has been my lucky day, I don't see why it shouldn't be yours too. Just so happen to have a spare golden airship ticket, you see. Send out a gift from me to you, my lady. Just show that ticket to the fine lady over at the landing, and you'll have a seat on the next airship bound for revelry and riches. Be fairly warned, though. You may expect no mercy from me should our paths cross at the triple triad tables. Nay, not so much as an ounce. Ha ha. Oh. All right. Well, let's check that out. Um, because I've actually never done anything with the gold saucer. I've done this quest line, but I've never, like, gone to the golden saucer and done anything. Um, so. Do, 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 do. Airship landing. So we will have to see how that goes. This is the reception desk for flights bound for the Mandeville Gold Saucer. Before proceeding, I must ask that you submit your ticket for inspection. Ahem, you do have a ticket, yes? One golden airship ticket. It appears that everything is in order. An airship will be departing shortly before the next bell. Shall I reserve a seat for you? Yes. All right, off to the gold saucer. It's a giant cactuar. <laughs> All the way out in the Haoli Desert, if I am remembering correctly.
It's something like that, anyway. It's a cactua. Or maybe it's a sabo tender. Who knows? Manderville Gold Saucer. It's actually really funny because I've been doing a quest line that involves the Mandervilles and it is very interesting to uh to, to put it mildly it's very interesting <laughs> it, it's a very strange uh, quest line. So, the tenant at the airship landing seems eager to welcome you to the Gold Salsa. Welcome, honored guests, to the Mandeville Gold Salsa, where your wildest dreams are ever but a card or a chocobo's beak away from coming true. If this is your first visit, nothing would please us more than to give you a full tour of the establishment, that you might enjoy its wonders to the fullest. At the conclusion of the tour, it is our custom to offer our esteemed patrons a complimentary gift, straight from the vaults of our illustrious proprietor himself. Consider it Lord Mandeville's way of personally thanking you for your patronage. Should you wish to take the tour, pray proceed to the main counter over there and speak with the receptionist. On behalf of the management, may I take this opportunity to thank you for choosing the gold saucer. Rest assured, my colleagues and I will spare no effort in seeing that your visit is a pleasant and profitable one. May fortune smile upon you. Alright. So, the gold saucer is a big place. I mean, look at this. Like, look at, just look at this map. It's insane. There's so much stuff here. But yet, I've never actually done any of it. <laughs> So, we'll have to see how this goes. Welcome, traveler, to the Gold Saucer. This is the main counter where you can purchase tickets for the mini cact pot, acquire and redeem Mandeville Gold Saucer points, and much, much more. But what in the world are Mandeville Gold Saucer points, I hear you cry? A most astute, astute question, and one which I shall only be too happy to answer. But first, if I may direct your gaze to your left... Beyond these, those majestic gates, you will find Chocobo Square, home to the Chocobo Racing Circuit. Aye, what Chocobo owner has not dreamed of pitying their fleetest bird against the realm's finest in a pulse-quickening dash for fame and fortune? Truly, it is the sport of sultans. And should you desire a more elaborate contest of strategy, you will surely find it in Minion Square at the Lord of Vermilion, at the Lord of Vermilion Tables. Where would be generals? Where would be generals pit armies of minions against one another in battles for honor and glory? Now, where were we? Ah, yes, Mandeville Gold Saucer points. Put simply, MGP, as we call it for short, is a currency by which dreams are bought and sold within these halls. But my associate here, besides me, can tell you more, including how to go about acquiring some MGP of your very own. Pray, speak with them to continue your tour. This is gonna send us all over the place. So you're thinking about, so you're about to experience the wonders of the gold saucer for the first time. Oh, I envy you. Ah, but before you venture forth, you want to exchange a share of your guild for MGP, a service which it is my great honor to provide. With MGP in your coin purse, you'll be able to enjoy all the fabulous attractions you have we have to offer, and all of the wonderful games. If you play them with skill, you'll find your little stack of points increasing 10, 20, even 100-fold. Now that you know the fundamentals, we're ready to step out onto the floor of the gold saucer. 
Your tour will continue at Card Square to the southwest. The card trader there will be your guide. I would, of course, be happy to exchange some of your gill for MGP before you venture on. While my associates and I strive to leave nothing unexplained, there truly is no substitute for first-hand experience, and I heartily recommend trying your hand at our many amusements for yourself. Get some MGP. If you like to exchange your ordinary old gill for shiny new MGP, then you've come to the right place, what do you say? Uh, Samia Ferrax has just messaged me, but I don't even know where they are. Start with a hundred. I also don't know, like, if they just messaged me. Oh, there they are. Well, no, I'm on free trial. I can't, like, join stuff or respond to whispers or anything. Alrighty, and I don't think, I don't remember, oh yeah, I was going to say, I feel like there was an etherite somewhere. Yep, right here. With this, we will be able to get here anytime we want, and this is technically a city, so there's plenty of ethernet shards all over the place for us to collect, so... Just have to follow the tour and we should be able to collect them all. So I could just run around and collect them all, but since, you know, we're following the tour, we'll get them all that way too. So it's fine. Well, aren't you just the sweetest thing? Welcome to the card square, home of the triple triad tables. What triple triad, you ask? Why, only the mind-bending, pulse-pounding, maddening, uh. Moorish card game that's taken the realm by storm. But don't take my word for it. Behold, can you not feel the tension in the air? Form a hand of five cards and play the role of a field general, sending your bravest into battle. Should you wish to learn the rules and experience the excitement for yourself, you'd only ask. Start today, we'll even throw in some complimentary cards to help you on your way. You can face off against a single opponent at any time, or... If you crave an even greater test of your skills, take part in one of our regular tourneys. And believe me when I tell you there's no feeling quite like standing triumphant on the battlefield after vanquishing all, com all comers. You really should try it. Meant to learn, a lifetime to master. That's triple triad. Ah, if I'm getting carried away, you have a tour to finish. Wonder Square is your next destination. Not that there's any hurry, of course. If you'd like to play a hand or two before you go, you need but say the word. Again, I've actually never done any of this stuff. I've come here before. It was like, oh, you know, there's like the, a place here, you know, like I did the class. But then I was like, all right, so it's all just like mini games. And then that was like as far as I went. And according to several people that I have talked to <coughs> since then, uh, I am apparently missing out on a lot of things. <laughs> and I don't know if, how much I'm missing out on, but apparently I'm missing out on a lot. So, who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, you know, find out what I'm missing here and then end up doing it back on my main. <laughs> Air Force One is now underway in Round Square. Okay, I don't know what that is. It's a limited time event. You look lost, honey. Why don't I show you around? It would be nice to talk to a woman for a change. Feast your eyes on Wonder Square. From great gripping games and awe-inspiring attractions to the finest and fine dining and the freshest of refreshments, there's no end to the wonders housed within these halls. Let's not forget the most wondrous of them all, El Coloso, as we lovingly call our mammoth cactuar mascot, is the star of some of our most popular events. Place to say you won't want to miss them. Now, I know that what you're thinking. With everything going on at the Gold Saucer, how could I ever hope to keep up? But she didn't worry. 
My fellow gatekeepers and I will always be on hand to see that you don't miss a thing. For the continuation of the tour, I've been instructed to direct you into the waiting arms of my colleague Valida at the Cact Pot Board. She's one of our most popular girls, and once you meet her, I'm sure you'll understand why. Ta-ta for now. All right. Um, I think all of those, like, gold marks on the map might be where the gatekeepers are. There are little, like, gold circles here. Um, that are just employees in general, apparently. It's just by hovering over it, it just says gold saucer employee. So, um, are both of these ether... Hey, Master Rose! How about that? The, uh, the, the, uh, the, the leader of the Weaver's Guild. These, oh, that, one, one of them is upstairs, one of them is downstairs, I bet. I didn't even realize there was, like, an upstairs area to this air place. I have been here, and I have hit all of the etherites before, um, you know, on my main character. Or Ethernet charge or whatever you want to call them. Um, it's just I haven't been here since like level 15 <laughs> on my main character. So that was a very long time ago. That was like a year if not longer. <laughs> There's like stairs in the middle there that go up but is there a way onto those stairs? Because it looks like the stairs stop before they even reach the floor. But they go up to the top and then get to the top of the cactuar. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Moogle! Oh my god, the Moogle quest line in this game is one of the, like my favorites. So... It is... And I'm like, it's amazing. I love everything about it. <laughs> it was actually like really fun. Crystal Tower Striker. Apparently, pull health that's 100. Okay. I see. It's a hammer game. Simple enough. I think I lost. I don't have the best hand-eye coordination. That comes from only having one eye that works well. <laughs> oh, hey, I got 10 MGP out of that. I spent three and I got 10. Bah. But that's probably another 10, so at least there's that. Cool. Um, I mean, that looks like what's here. Crystal Tower is something that we'll get into much later in the game. That's the first level 50 raid. So, it'll be a... It'll be quite a while before we get into that. So. Monster Toss. I want to play a round of Monster Toss. Ow. Nuts. Miss. <laughs> Miss. Oh, that, what? That, that was, I just barely missed on that one. Oh, that was a complete miss. Oh, pfft. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. That I that time I did was I was not even paying attention that time. I, like I just clicked it without even thinking. Got it. Nice. Nice. Doing better this time. No, that's a mess. There's like a slight delay between like when I click 
and when it actually like triggers but I'm not entirely sure how much of a delay it is oh wow I only paused one but I got 20 how about that um is there there's is there a downstairs to this or was there just the upstairs I'm confused because I only found one etherite is this the downstairs, or does that just go further? That just goes that way. Where's this other etherite? I assumed it was downstairs, but maybe they're both upstairs? Because I don't see a downstairs area at all. And that's the one that I interacted with, right? Is there one over there? Oh, there is. They're both up here? That seems weird. Seems like you'd want one up here and one down there. Hmm. What else? Just because, like, it would make it easier, right? Or maybe these are actually, like, things? Oh my god. Ugh. I've done the quest with him. Oh my. I moaned, trying to think the owner stationed me here just so I'd be forced to ever gaze upon the battle of the bulge being waged beneath that shivering statue small clothes. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry about that, friend. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him. So yeah, there's maintenance going on today. Um, so I'll probably only be able to get like one recording. Uh, done before the maintenance. It's at 2 and it's currently 12. So I might be able to get maybe 2 if I do it right. Um, but we'll see what happens. So if I go for like 45 minutes an episode like I've been doing, I should be fine. So, because we've only been going for 20 minutes now. Um, this must be where another one where they're up above, because I don't see them at all on this floor. So, and that said, this looks like it's meant to be something, but I don't know what. What even are we? There's no names. Event Square. Oh, that, it's a stage? That makes sense? The Moogle's Paw. Oh, is it one of... wait. Oh, I got it. Hmm. See, I didn't get that one. I don't know what... Because I got the red one, but I had like a gap. <coughs> and now I'm wondering like, do I need to have a gap? What is the gap, if so, you know? Hmm. I'm a little confused, not gonna lie. Huh. I guess it just gave me the first one, okay? But it, there is no gap. It just like gave me the first one, despite the fact that I definitely had not gotten that one right. Maybe there's like a randomness to it? I'm so confused. I missed that one. Completely. I was, like, I also don't know what's better. To go for the... Like, small red ball? Maybe I had, like... Maybe that's what it was. Maybe I, like... Had a gap on... The, uh... There we go. If I had a gap on the red ball that I went after, but I ended up getting the blue ball, 
Maybe I was like in line with the blue ball. I don't know. I'll have to look back at the footage for that because I'm very confused. <laughs> I'm sure you guys saw it. Uh, there is no ethernet right here, so it must be directly beneath me this time. Yes, it is. Okay. I'll go back down for it then. I think I had this problem last time too, where I like could not figure out where the shards were. So, there's some simple, simple enough mini games. Not that bad. <coughs> Cackpot. I have access to the Cackpot board. Ah, oh, there you are, my darling. I've been waiting for you. I'm Vildada, and I'd like to personally welcome you to Event Square. The most spacious of all the areas of the Gold Saucer, Event Square is a veritable cornucopia of pleasure and delight. Doubtless the sizable stage in the middle of the square has caught your eye. That is the stage of some of our most sensational attractions. So don't be shy about taking center stage. And after the curtain has fallen, why not try changing your life forever? With a jumbo cack pot, all you need is a handful of MGP and a head full of dreams. Just choose four numbers and cast your hopes to the heavens. Never know, you never know just when Nemia will smile down upon you. Now, as much as I've enjoyed getting to know you, I'm afraid it's time for us to part. Next and final leg of your tour takes you to Round Square. Don't think too hard about the name, my darling. Even I'm not sure it's supposed to make sense. Yes. I think round square is not round, or maybe it's just, you know, round and square. Uh, Welcome to the Jumbo Cackpot, where the Eorzea of our, your dreams is only four digits away. Can you tempt to win a ticket? Sure. Uh, excellent. Let me enlighten you as to how it all works. First, you purchase a Jumbo Cackpot ticket, and then you pick four numbers. Any from zero to nine that tickle your fancy, and inscribe them upon your ticket. After that, simply wait till we down the winning number to see if you have any matches. Check your digits from last to first. The more matches you have, the more mandible gold saucer points you'll win. If all your numbers match, then ding, 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 you've hit the cockpot. You'll receive an embarrassingly large number of MGP, an extravagant prize besides. And with the jumbo cockpot, the more participants there are, the grander the prizes become. Just imagine how many MGP you'll stand to win if all four friends and allies join in the... All, all of... Your friends and allies join in the. F yep. When the time comes to draw the waiting number, look no further than the lovely Cackpot Cashier. She provides you with everything from first prize to consolation points. Last but not least, I will be here to assist you day or night, but ever at a loss. Purchase the things, the waiting numbers will be drawn every Saturday at 10. After drawing, you'll have until Saturday, until next Saturday at 10, I assume. Yeah, until the following. I missed the word following. It's right there. Following Saturday at 10 to claim your prize. You have a week. Once this one week period ends, please be aware that you'll be unable to claim any prizes. Makes sense. MGP voucher. Oops. Uh, redeemable for 100 MGP. Oh, neat. Okay. So I have something else there that I need to use real quick. There we go. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Wee! Ow! <laughs> now off to the round square. I will completely admit that when she first said it, I didn't pick up on it. I was like, I'm guessing it's just that the room isn't round, which is why I said that. And actually, it is round, but yes, the name, the round square. Senor Sabotenda. It does not react. I hear the first time visit I was told to expect. A thousand welcomes to the gold saucer and a thousand welcomes to round square. How can a square be round, you ask? I'm not sure I understand the question. Moving on to more important matters. Is that lofty peak not a sight to behold? 
So this is Mount Corral, the main attraction here at Round Square. One of our most thrilling event pits our customer one of our most thrilling events pits our customers against each other. A challenge to see who can most swiftly scale its heights. I tell you the view from the summit is a sight to behold. And that concludes your tour of the gold saucer. While I'm sure you're eager to start enjoying yourself, pray do not forget to return to the main counter and claim your complimentary gift. So cute. Gatekeeper at the Round Square. Mount Coral. I'm guessing this is where it starts, but you have to like sign up for the event itself. And I also wonder like, is it actually, like do you actually scale like this? Or is there like an instanced area? I do see somebody up there. So it might be that you actually do, in fact, scale this. We have Ethernet access to Round Square. Um, I feel like I must have missed an Ethernet somewhere. Because I haven't gotten the, hey, you did all the Ethernets notification. Let's see. Uh, Chocobo Square and Minion Square, apparently. Those are apparently in the Chocobo Square. <laughs> Do I even know where that is? <laughs> I wonder if I've even gotten that on my main character. I wonder if I was just like, well, I guess maybe this one just doesn't tell you. Because this is before they had this menu. Where, like... Pig. <laughs> right then. Um, but yeah, that was when I was here last, it was before they had this like menu. So it actually like showed you all of the places. I don't know if I've ever even been to Chocobo Square, honestly. Because I don't know that the tour takes you to Chocobo Square. So I don't know that it existed. I don't know that I knew that it existed, rather. So I think these guys give you MGP2. Welcome back, honored guest. I trust that you've come to uh, come. Uh, bleh. I trust that you've come away from the tour with a greater appreciation of all the gold saucer has to offer. As a token of our appreciation for your patronage, it is my great pleasure to offer you a complimentary gift from the personal vaults of our esteemed proprietor. Well, knock me down with a chunk of most tall tail feather. Is that a new customer I see? Ha ha! I could barely have picked a better time to drop in for an impromptu inspection. Oh. Is this who I think it is? No, nope, that's somebody else. The Master Roland. Yes, this lady here has but this moment completed her introductory tour. This is not who I thought it was. Is that so? Well then, allow me to personally welcome you to the Gold Saucer. I am Roland, good madam. The fellow entrusted with overseeing the daily affairs of this fine establishment on behalf of our esteemed proprietor, a great man if there ever was one. You are an adventurer, yes? I, your dress and bearing, told me as much. I dare say, then, that on your travels you have seen firsthand the difficulties which yet plague our nation. Witness the struggle of all amigos displaced masses and those whose homes were consumed in the fires of the calamity. Sultanate is not unsympathetic to their plight, of course, yet how can one begin to provide succor to such countless mul multitudes? One man had an answer. Godbert Mandeville had a dream, a dream of a house of untold wonders that would provide stable employment and lodgings to the displaced, mirth and merriment to the disconsolate, and prosperity and plenty to the Sultanate at large. Many of our patrons, the Gold Saucer is merely Aorzea's foremost entertainment value, venue, a place to forget about their cares for the day. To me, it is one of the founding stones upon which our realm will be rebuilt, a miracle wrought by the hand of the greatest man I have ever known. Something tells me you underestimate that which I have told you, that you perchance share a similar dean, or understand, not underestimate, that you perchance share a similar dream, but I shall keep you no longer. 
Gold saucer and all its wonders await you, friend. Pray, enjoy them to your heart's content. Till we meet again, may the spinner's pull be ever kind. Hey, gold saucer tickets. One free play at any of the Manderville Gold Cactua Gold Saucer mini attractions. Uh, Cactpot, mini Cactpot, Chocobo Racing, and Triple Triad not included. Alrighty. Alrighty. There is a lot more still to do. Mini Cactpot Broker. Welcome, welcome, fair traveler. Can I test your luck with a mini cack pot ticket? Splendid, miss. Now allow me to explain. Mini cack pot is a game of chance, available to you thrice every day. Playing is simplicity itself. Just guess the value of the covered numbers to win it big. If the mayor's grace is with you, you'll be rewarded with Mandeville gold saucer points of galore. So, miss, you feel lucky? Now buy gold cactuar, cat pot, whatever, tickets. Play uncover any three other numbers based on information. Select a single line. The payout will depend upon the total sum of the line you have chosen. I missed the first, like, line, so... Come on, come on. Drawing number 3193 of the mini pot is here. Can you try your luck with the ticket? Uh, 10 MGP, sure. Any character pot rules are simple. First, you select three numbers from the eight hidden on your ticket. Next, you select one, one of each, uh, one of eight lines, vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. So, three slots. You've got six. You've got one. You've got nine. Select the nine. All the numbers are uncovered with the sum of the three in the line you chose. Determining your output. It's that simple. I see. So, I know that this is 9, 6, and 1. I know that this is 6 and 3. So this is... This I already know. So it's entirely possible that I could get something better or something worse. So let's do this line. Because we already have 9 and 3 here. Hey, 180. That, that doesn't seem too bad. So. Um, yeah, 180. I got number 17. Apparently if the sum is 6, you get 10,000 points. But because I got a sum of 17. Oh, see, I, I didn't even, like, realize that that's what this was saying. Okay. So what you actually want to do <coughs> is try to get six points. Sure, we'll give it one more shot. Maybe two more shots. Um, okay. So I know, so I've got five and seven. So I know that if I want six, I need to avoid the center. <laughs> That's an eight. That does not help. Four. I see. I mean, I can get a high number here. Um, I know that I can get at least 15, which is 180, if I go this route. Um, I'm assuming they're 1 through 9, which means the most this can be is a 9. Um... Actually, yeah, that would be the best, obviously. Um, but it can't be 23, because it can't be 8. It can't be 22, because it can't be 7. And so, it's 20, 24, 21, or even less, basically, if I pick this line. There is the possibility that picking either of these lines will get me closer to 6. But also those points are not nearly as good because this, let's see, this is nine. Actually, this is nine, which is 360. So, see, because if this is a one, then we only get 80. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, this is tricky. This is, this is really tricky, actually. Let me go with this line. Yeah, how about that? 
I got seven. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh, see, there was no way to even get six on this one because three was here. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. I definitely feel like uncovering the middle is probably your best bet. So like now I know 9, 5, and 4, right? And that's 18. So this is going to give me 119 guaranteed. Um, this is 11 on its own. If there's a 1, I'll get 12. But it could be a different number, but it's not going to get me, like, down here at all. Um, at least I don't think. Um. Hmm. Oh, wait. I see, okay. I, I, I typed something into my calculator wrong and confused myself. Why not? Let's just see what it is. It's a one. Oh, boy. I mean, if you can find the one, the two, and the three, then at least that tells you whether or not six is even available. So. Neat. I, I don't know that I would claim that I've missed anything so far from just that, but I also haven't done much in here yet. <laughs> fashion for fashion, and every little thing she does is mahjong. One is frustrated with a new challenge and needs to unburden herself. Just precisely as I was told to receive such a dreadful score, not to mention the humiliating criticism. Humph. Hmm, you wish to know what's bothering me? That as well, for I wish to unburden myself. Been having a frustrating time with the fashion report. Challenge they recently introduced. Yes, I, who can play any game here blindfolded and spun around, struggle with it. To be fair to myself, though, it has a subjective element. If you have a mind for fashion, perhaps you would like to try your hand at the challenge. Go to Wonder Square and seek out Mastro's. But be warned, the barbs on that man's tongue have barbs on their tongues. Oh, that's... I remember on my main character, um, the fashion report came up at one point. Because it's a, like a time-based event. But I could never figure out, like, how to do anything with it. Or, you know, interact with it or anything, so. Then, by the way, Loena is gnashing her teeth and muttering to herself. She appears to be somewhat perturbed. How dare they claim it wasn't a proper Yaku. Don't they know a winning hand when they see one? Yes, what do you want? I'm afraid you found me in a rather foul mood. Had a run of poor luck with that new game, Mahjong. There it's all the rage in Doma, so it seems the gold saucer's clientele struggled around their feeble minds around its intricacies. With the endless supply of shameless cheats and bumbling novices, you have to find a decent opponent. Perhaps you would provide me with more of a challenge. Yes, some fresh meat could be just what I need. Run along to the Mandeville tables and get yourself acquainted with the basics, would you? Speak with the Mahjong Tutor and Mast Rose. Um, is this by any chance? Does this go to Chocobo Square? And store like Chocobo Square and Minion Square, home to the heart pounding, hair raising spectacles that are Chocobo Racing and Lord of Verminion. Okay. Wonder if I did go here then. Cause I feel like I would have tried like Checking the uh, the 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 lift. Mini cackpot is underway. Does that mean that it just like refreshed or the finer minor? I'm not. Am I supposed? Well, yeah. I'm probably supposed to be getting a low score, right? Find the sweet spot. Since nothing. 
Nothing. So is it less than that, maybe? Oh, yep. Ah, I got nothing. Oh, I yeah, I literally got nothing. Oh, dear. Titan! You sense nothing. Hmm. I don't understand this at all. You got nothing again. <laughs> now I have to go high, interestingly enough. Or maybe I'm doing the, even that part wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to be going for the green area. I don't know. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. It still didn't get anything, but I at least think I figured that out. I really feel like you're supposed to go for... I mean, this gives you six, so maybe not. Or maybe, like, it's whatever you're after is, like, rarer. Based off of, like, what you hit. Bah! What? Hmm. I'm very confused by this. <laughs> but I do get more chances at six, or if I, at Cactuar. Oh. Oh, hey. I actually got that one. Uh, current payout is 35, or you can do double down. I'm fine with that, because I didn't even understand the minigame to begin with. Out on a limb. It was very similar to the previous one. Oh, this is the botany. This is botany, a botany version, I think. Nah. Nice that I managed to like land it right at the original spot, but <laughs> that one was a bit easier to be honest. Like I kind of felt like that one was a bit easier. <laughs> Minion at square. Oh, and then Chocobo squares up here. I see. I get it. That makes sense. There's always like one thing and then an arrow. I'll, I bet this is how you get to do the chocobo. Like I, I've heard about the chocobo racing thing. I just have no, I had no idea how to do that. Change yourself to the Ethernet shards. Yay! This quest is probably how you do it. Race Chocobo Registrar. Fledgling Chocobo Registration. Oh, okay. Those with a need for speed and a yearning for competition, the Mandeville Gold Sauce provides the perfect solution. You're content to merely amble through life, shuffling forward step by step at a snail's pace. Imagine the wind in your hair as you cross the finish line atop a Chocobo. The thrill of competition and the joy of triumph that not be far, far greater? Ah, but that you are here bespeaks desire already present, is it not? I think this even in jockey we do receive. 
Last of Jockey cannot compete with our suitable steed, a race chocobo to be precise. Mayhap you think to nominate your own personal chocobo? If so, strike that thought from your mind at once, for only a chocobo trained for the task will suffice. So fear not, my friend, for it so happens that we have a surplus of fledglings in need of new companions. In fact, to any who wish to don the man's love chocobo jockey, the Mandrigal Gold Saucer will generously gift a race chocobo. You need only journey to Moogle's Gift Mounts in Bent Branch Meadows, where fledgling race chocobos receive their initial training. Make her intentions known to the trader named Kettering. She will see you match with a suitable seed. Ooh, okay. See, once again, that's not something I knew how to do. <laughs> I had no idea. So, all right. Um, I don't know if I'll do that right away, but we can definitely look into some of that. So, um, Wonder Square East. This is where the Mahjong quest is. And also I think Redolent I think Redolent Rose is here as well. Somewhere. Here's the Mahjong tutor. Yeah, I gotta uh, yeah, I gotta go talk to Redolent Rose there. I have to look at where that is. Listen, I'll have the money ready by next week, I swear. Huh? <laughs> I'm here for tutoring. Oh, you're not a debt collector? What a pleasant surprise. In that case, you must be here to learn how to play Dome and Mahjong. I'm a resident tutor at your service. Are you by any chance familiar with the game? Not in the slightest. I know my pawn from my Ron, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Uh, that's the one where the loser drinks Morble Bile, is it? <laughs> because that's the, no. <laughs> Kami, for friend, is that what passes for entertainment in Eorzea? Perhaps all these rumors about pirates and their dr drunken addicts, antics are true. Anyway, Mahjong is a far gentler affair. More players sit around the table, collecting tiles and scoring points. Thankfully, you'll find there's no shortage of opponents against whom to pitch your wits. If you prefer, you can even practice against the automata. They gloat less than their flesh and blood counterparts, too. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. And may I say, I'll be very interested to see how quickly you rise to the ranks here at the Gold Saucer. Woo! I have no idea. Mahjong unlocked. Did he find it has been updated? Okay, so I have unlocked that before in on my main. Because, yeah, that's what this is. Okay, okay. I was feeling like I had done these quest lines before, but I couldn't recall. It's the masked rose. Totally not resplendent rose at all. Oh, a new challenger has come to put your her stylistic sensibilities to the test. Welcome to the fashion report, good madam. Uh, you look like Redolent Rose. What? Everything quite all right? Yes, everything is rosy, redolently so. Is that you, Redolent Rose? Everything is rosy, redolently so. Hi. Uh, excellent. Full glad am I to hear it. Now then, I believe this is your first time participating in the fashion report. Allow me to explain the concept and the rules. Fashion is a form of self-expression when we wear what is a reflection of who we are within. Be it a con- what, what we wear without- what it- yeah, that line. Be it a conscious effort or no, the choice brings our individuality, individuality to the fore. Some folk are drawn to vibrant colors, others may favor a loose fit for comfort. And while tis well and good to dress to one's preferences, man cannot prefer which he does not know. The, mass, the world of fashion is vast and, at times, daunting. But if we have the courage to take a step into the unknown, we may discover wonderful new ways of expression we had never considered. 
And it is for no other reason than to encourage folk to take the first step that I created this challenge, the Fashion Report. The rules are simple. I shall assign you a theme based upon which you are to attire yourself to the best of your sensibilities. I shall then judge you and award you a score. Participating is free, and there is a host of fabulous prizes to be won, courtesy of Mandeville and Mandeville. I wish to know the finer points of the game, my lovely assistant Kazumi shall attend you. Hey, we have the same name, just spelled slightly different. It's Kasumi as opposed to Kazumi. <coughs> I look forward to giving you my unadulterated, brutally honest evaluation of your fashion sense. Steal yourself and let me know when you're ready to undertake the challenge. Passion for fashion. Fashion report unlocked. Fashion report is now available. Speak with Master Rose to undertake a fashion challenge. Cool. Yeah, I remember getting notified about the fashion report, but I had no idea what that meant. <laughs> the items in stock come highly recommended. Play, browse to your heart's content. Um, various dyes. Uh, be with the bewilderment ballroom etiquette. So that's cool. Along with Daring the Alliance's... Oh, I have no gill. Uh, orchestration roll. Int odd that I... Odd that it hasn't, like, darkened to tell me that I don't have the gill. Whatever. It's fine. Go ahead and use this real quick. Probably have not bought this on my main character either. Because I don't think I did any interacting here. Uh, unfortunately, that is all of my Allegan. And I have nothing else. And at the moment, I would prefer to hold on to some of these other items. I don't need... Like, these aren't going to sell for anything, but I don't need them. So... Uh, Alright. We'll, we're fine from there. It does not give us 5,000 for the orchestration roll, but that's fine. I'm really not that concerned about trying to get that anyway, so. Uh, is there anything else I should consider before moving on? Is the question. Because I'm pretty sure I've now at least talked to everybody. I think if I was going to, like, give any of this a try, I would probably start a new episode. Though we are at an hour, and so I should start a new episode either way. Um, I'm just, you know, thinking here. Uh, what is, what is this? Sabatender Guia. Guia? Guia? Think you have what it takes to hop, skip, and jump your way to victory, and step right up and try your luck at the leap of faith. And if you're feeling especially daring, we've placed several trophies throughout the course. Reach them before you clear the finish line, and your reward will be that much greater. Participating as a party, please note all party members must be present in the gold saucer before speaking <coughs> to her. Okay. Leap of faith is a duty of some sort. <laughs> Wee! Jump to the finish. Oh, frick! So it's parkour, which makes sense. There is a time limit. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't do parkour in like any video game for more or less this exact reason. Oh, do I have to like click on that or something? No. Oh, I have to like stand there for long enough, I think. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Right. 
this is a thing. Yeah, you have to stop at it for long enough. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. One try. Not even. Like that, that was surprisingly easy. Oh, it didn't give me the... So like stop at it for a moment. I'm not sure if that's just my latency. Or if it's something else. Oh, really? This jump? Okay. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Whee! Oh, I didn't expect that it was going that way. Okay. Um. Whee! Whee! Okay. <laughs> I get so nervous when I do parkour. Uh, oh, there's a there's a gold trophy up this way. I bet there was like some mega trophy if you could jump the rest of that building, like at the back at the beginning. Cause I definitely know. Oh, why? I literally got to the platform, touched the trophy, and then like. I thought I collected it, so I moved on, and then I realized I hadn't. Except that then, I fell, because I tried to go back. There's probably like a trophy up there. No? Hmm. Is that or I just can't see it from all the way over here. Sucks that you have to start entirely over again, though. Doesn't seem too difficult, at least. For sure, parkour is vastly more difficult if you're doing it first person. Like, third person parkour is vastly easier. So... Actually, this is just the top. Oh, interesting. I thought I didn't realize that was the same building. Also, can we just say I love this Chocobo Remix? <laughs> ah, frick. Where am I? Did, am I back at the beginning? <laughs> I'm back at the beginning. Not completely the beginning, but yeah. Oh, actually, no. Not too. It's not too. Where am I? This is like completely different. I have no idea where I am. I have ended up on something that I don't know what is because I fell there. Oh, don't fall off. I've never seen this part of the course. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this sucks. And what really sucks is that I was there. I was at the end. I was at the end. The golden, the gilded cactuar was in my hands. And because I didn't collect it, I fell off. What the? How, how do you make that jump? Like, that was as light of a jump as I can do, and it was too much. Am I misunderstanding something? Oh, frick. That was too much again. <laughs> I'm in the same position as this other person. 
I don't know where I'm trying to go. I've ended up on a completely alternate path. Just because I fell. What if I fall again? Would I, like, go back to the main path? Is this, like, extra hard mode? Well, I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> Oops. Yep, okay. We can do this. We can do this easy, this is easy mode. I say that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We were there. We were like six minutes left. We were at the end. We were good. And now I can't freaking even make these jumps. Don't pull out your weapons, please. Bet you could make that jump. Just right over to that vine there. Instead of going the long way to, you know, going up and then down like I did. Bet you could do that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't play parkour maps. <laughs> Like, I know park. I know that Minecraft parkour is popular, <gasps> but this is literally why. This is literally why I don't do it. <laughs> also, are we over the floating city of Nim? I just realized. Or maybe they just turned the floating city of Nim into parkour. Oh my gosh, we're down to one minute. I, I bet... Make it! No. I bet you can make that if you do... Maybe like a run and jump. Because there is a sprint button. I bet if you sprint, you can probably make that. I'm not going to try again. We've only got, you know, one minute to get through this. Now why? I forgot to jump. I thought that was a vine that was attached. One minute remaining <laughs> to complete a leap of faith. Oh my goodness. Will this be the first episode I edit because I'm going to do this until I get it? Oh my god. Just compile it into nothing but my fails. And then it's like, oh yeah, I played this section for like 40 minutes. And you old guys only see like five minutes of it <laughs> as it just like fail 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 captain do it, do it the captain sparkles way with editing you know okay at least we're back to this action now ah what happens in the saucer number one Hey, I obtained a bunch of MGP off of that, though. I think I can do it now that I've given it one shot. I think I can do it, I say. I did it one. I was almost there once. I can do it again, right? Oh. Oh, is it like a... Oh, I guess I can't do it again. I see. It's like a one-time, maybe once-a-day event thing? Maybe? Huh. Interesting. Alright. Well, I guess that's all that we're doing of that. And in that case, I don't see much point in bothering to continue. 
Um, so, uh, I don't know what next episode will be, uh, but with that, uh, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, feel free to subscribe. You can check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. Uh, that way you can get caught up on any episodes that you might have missed. But, week. Yeah, this is just one of those strength games. Punishing! Also, this is a character that we meet later in the game. So that's actually really funny to me. Like, all of this stuff, like, it's level 15 content. But all of this is, like, based around things that you don't even see till level 50. So, one more try, and then we'll head off. So, but yeah. Nice! Didn't get the full 2,000 points, but I assume it's full 2,000 anyway. Based off the fact that I didn't get that smack in the middle, and I got 1,912. So, probably get like a bigger bonus if you can get it perfect, but oh well. But yeah, guess I'll see you all next time. <laughs> see you later.